All right, so we're gonna walk through your first setup with the new UBL firmware. So Marlin 2.0.4.4, firmware that just uploaded. So you're gonna to go to the custom commands and you're gonna go all the way to the bottom. You're gonna reset EEPROM. Boom, EEPROM values restored. Click to continue. And then we're gonna go back to custom commands and we're gonna do probe UBL slot one. I have made three slots, I might make more, but we're gonna start here. So probe UBL slot one. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna do a 10 by 10 grid, and it's gonna store that grid into slot one. So this is gonna take a little bit. So bear with me as we go through this. So, the reason we're switching to UBL is a couple things. One is we can store uh, mesh values. So we can use you know multiple sheets, store the mesh values. Uh, we can recall them using start G code. And um, yeah, so what it's gonna do is, as you can see the light has turned to blue, is it's heating up right now the bed to 65C. And then it's gonna start doing the 10 by 10 probe of UBL, which will jump around a little bit, so it's going to move in a strange pattern. It's not left to right, up to down. It's like some weird zigzaggy pattern, I think. I have no idea. It's a pattern. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but it'll take a little bit for us to heat up to 65. Uh, so in the end, UBL gives us the ability to store these meshes into save values. Uh, we won't have to run any mesh beforehand. We'll just basically go right to printing, which is awesome. Uh, and then you can also refine your mesh. So if you find a low spot or a high spot, you can go back and edit the mesh and move the points up and down. So there's a really good video from Chris Riley on YouTube that goes over that. So I won't go too far into that craziness. But for now, we're just gonna run this. When we finish this, we then have to find the Z probe offset. So based the live Z, and I'll show you how to do that too. But for now, we're just gonna let this thing do its magic. Um, and I might hit fast forward through the rest of this. Okay, so the mesh is saved in slot one. And the next thing we're going to do is go back to the custom commands and we're going to UBL offset step one. Boom. So what it's done is it's moved down to what it thinks Z equals zero is, as you can see. So Z equals zero. And then I have a 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge. And I'm going to go to configuration, probe Z offset. I'm going to stick this underneath here. I'm going to lower that until the nozzle touches the feeler gauge. You can also use a piece of paper if you so desire, because a piece of paper is about 0 0.2 millimeters. Okay, Z probe offset set. Main, custom commands, and we'll go to step two, completed. So that just stored our Z offset and did all that fun stuff. And that's it. We can now do our first test print. So I hope that gets you, the, I mean, just to, just to clarify, that got us really close to what the Z offset should be. So on your next print, stay close, run a test print, refine the Z offset a little bit, and you should be good to go. All right. Have fun with your UBL.